Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. Our book today is Corduroy Takes a Bow. It is written by Viola Davis based on the character created by Don Freeman. Corduroy Takes a Bow. It was just starting to snow when Lisa and her mother got off the bus in front of the theater. Lisa held Corduroy tight as they walked up the steps. She had never been to a big theater like this before. Neither had Corduroy. They had come to see a performance of Mother Goose Rhymes. In the lobby, people were picking up tickets. Ushers handed out programs. A brass chandelier hung from the ceiling that was painted with clouds. Suddenly, the lights flickered on and off. That means the play will start in a few minutes. We should find our seats, said Lisa's mother. Lisa held her mother's hand a little tighter and held Corduroy a little closer. The usher took their tickets and showed them where to sit. The seats are so soft, said Lisa. She put Corduroy on her lap and looked through the program. Right before the play started, a very tall man sat down in front of Lisa. Mommy, Lisa whispered to her mother, I can't see. Here, dear, said her mother, we can fold our coats together and you can sit on top of them. When Lisa stood up to sit on the coat, the orchestra started to play. She forgot all about Corduroy. He slipped off her lap and fell underneath the seats in front of them. Now I can't see anything, said Corduroy. Maybe if I got closer to the music, I could see the stage. He peeked down the aisle and saw some stairs. When Corduroy got to the top of step, the big red curtain went up and up and up. Corduroy was so startled that he lost his balance and tumbled into the orchestra pit. He looked around at all the musicians and thought, this is a good spot to hear the music, but now I can't see the stage. At the back of the orchestra, there was a tall set of drums. Maybe if I sat up there, I would have a better view, he thought. Quietly, he crawled through the orchestra, past feet, between instrument cases, and around the music stands toward the drums. How did you get here, little fellow? The drummer whispered to Corduroy. You must be a prop from the play. Someone will be looking for you. He put Corduroy up on the ledge behind the drums. And here is Corduroy, way on top. There was a chair off to one side behind the curtain. I could see better from there, thought Corduroy. But before he got to the chair, a stagehand tripped on him. Sorry, Bear, said the stagehand. He put Corduroy on the table with the other props. The table was hard, not like Lisa's soft seat in the theater. Backstage was very busy. Actors were coming and going, changing costumes and getting their parts. One actor almost grabbed Corduroy. I should find a safer spot, he decided, and he hid between the costumes. This is safe, he said, but I'll never see anything from here. What is Corduroy going to do? What do you think? How should we gonna find out? Oh my, this looks like such a fun place between all the props, doesn't it? Do you think that's a fake cake? It must be because it's a prop, right? There was a tree with a basket and its branches in the wing, off to one side of the stage. I would be able to see from there, Corduroy thought, and he climbed up the tree and into the basket. 
Well, thought Corduroy, this is more like it. Not too high, not too low. This is just right. He settled in and watched the Mother Goose performance. I love the theater, said Corduroy. After a number of different scenes, the stage manager called out, Final scene, everyone, take your places. Stagehands quickly moved the new scenery onto the stage while the actors went to stand in position. Suddenly, Corduroy's tree began moving right onto the stage. Then it started to grow. Up, up, up went the tree, the basket, and Corduroy. This is a very tall tree, said Corduroy, as he looked down at the stage far below. The tall tree made him think of the tall man who sat in front of Lisa. Corduroy wondered, how will I get back to Lisa if I'm up in this tree? On the stage below, Mother Goose started to sing, rock a bye baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. Off stage, a fan blew air into the branches of the tree. The cradle began to rock back and forth, up and down, back and forth, and up and down. Corduroy was getting dizzy. He held onto the sides of the cradle as it rocked faster and faster. Oh no! Mother Goose kept singing. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And crack! The bow did break, and down will come, baby, cradle and all. Down, down, down came Corduroy, cradle and all. Before Corduroy knew what was happening, Mother Goose scooped him up for the curtain call. The audience clapped. As the actors bowed, Corduroy bowed too. Oh my gosh, where's Corduroy? Oh, here he is. Isn't he a doll? He's so cute. You know, this is what actors do at the end of a play. They take a bow to say thank you, right? Here he is. You see, oh, we have a king. Oh, yeah, Baba Black Sheep. After the curtain call, the cast took Corduroy backstage to the dressing room. Who does this bear belong to, they wondered. The usher brought Lisa backstage. Corduroy, there you are, said Lisa. How did you get on stage? I couldn't see, and I wanted to get a little closer, said Corduroy. Oh, Corduroy, said Lisa, you certainly got closer. What do you think? Is Corduroy having a great time? The very next day, Lisa made a theater just for Corduroy. He could see everything from a nice, safe spot. The end.